Okay, I gotta pull this, uh, this bracket off of here for the mount. And that is a E14. And those are tough. So I lift it off a little bit. I gotta get this hose. That was a problem before. I wasn't engaging the clip correctly to get it off because I couldn't see it. And then to get this, I don't think I need to take the cooling plate off. I'm not gonna fool with that. I need to take these loose. And I think those are the 12. These could strip really easy. Looks like it should just slide through it. I would think. I got all the bolts on. Or is this one up? No, that ground's part of it. Yeah, it looks like she ought to just come off of there now. I don't want to damage the sealing surface because I've got to reuse this thing. Oh, that's right. I can't take this off until I uh, until I remove the uh, the lugs. So that's over here. This is also it looks like a toilet. Uh, same size. Yeah, they're the same size. So that's the high voltage uh, plug. Okay, pry it off. Yeah, this thing. Huh. There you go. That holds the uh, inverter to the windings. Now it ought to pry up. Let's see if we can get it off. Okay. I gotta go protect this thing. I'm gonna bring it inside for right now. Even though it looks like it's conformal coated. There's nothing wrong with my inverter. The motor motor runs beautiful other than the fact that it's got some internal issues i know some of you guys are just dying to see what happened inside this thing yeah me too i'm really curious i guess i can get it apart right here flip it around here i thought matt would have been here by now but uh rotor position sensor or whatever Ooh, I'm about to clean that out. It's got little metal shavings in it. Oh, so that must be like a temperature sensor for the for the windings. That presses down on the windings right there. Okay. So this is the little, uh, it's almost like a little generator, I guess, to figure out where, the, oh yeah, look at this. That's a shard. Oh no. It's not looking good, folks. All right, how do I get this off? Oh, is that the, because the magnets are keeping me from kicking it apart? That must be what it is. Yeah, the magnets are keeping me from taking it apart. Let's see, maybe I can pry up on it. Now I can get my fingers under it. Hopefully it didn't snap them back. Holy crap! Jeez, this is the bulk of the weight! Ugh. Oh, man. chunks of plastic that's here okay what a dead gun man this sucker's heavy Whew. okay I would think the stator and all that's fine oh look at the metal shavings no, I gotta lean it over look at all of them right there on this sleeve Hey, Matt. Hey, bud. So what happened? I don't know. I hadn't taken it completely apart yet. Gotcha. I'll tell you one damn thing. Mm -hmm. This thing weighs like 200 pounds by itself. I'm sure. Jesus. But there's chunks of plastic. Mm-hmm. There's that pretty stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, when you say the motor one, I'm kind of thinking the gears screwed up, huh? I don't, I don't think it's the gears. I really don't think it's the gears. All right, anyway. So, so now I can take these outer ones off and reveal the true damage. <laughs> this stuff stinks. Smells like kidding me? Mm -hmm. I hate it. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like arrow. <sighs> All right, so that's just two O-rings and plugs on there. Yeah, it's easy enough. Just cooler. Here's a couple remnants of the, mm. ex the explosion. Yeah. So that big main planetary gear is right screwed here. Screwed up. Mm -hmm. That's what screwed up. 
I don't think. I think that's the only thing there. I think it grabbed whatever and just pew, slung it. Um, two more bolts there. And that's it, huh? I think there might, yeah, this, it's sandwiched, so there's ones on the other side. side. When you flip it. Okay, that's kind of beside Old the point. I don't, right here, let's just get it in. Oof, I heard something fall. Oh, I there. hear it falling in there. Ooh, that, that sounds, that sounds nice. That sounds nice. That thing's nice and clean, huh? This thing never seen the light of day. Oh, there's one other? Okay. Kind of hidden from where you're sitting. Yeah. So this thing. Yeah, this little plate right here. Comes off. It's got O rings and stuff. Um, probably split the wiggle, huh? Yeah, I need to pry up a little bit on that. There we go. Let's see if it'll come off now. Yeah, it's all right, my pins. Ooh. So there's some there's some lovely stuff in there all right yeah, that's where that goes right there yeah so this is just a shim i guess yeah there is shim all right what is this i think you can flip it over and take it apart now though that's just a bearing Ooh. it don't sound good <laughs> it don't sound good he says Alright, let's see if one too many launches. <laughs> one too many launches. Let's see if we can separate this thing. God, it's coming up. Alright. Oh. There it is. Oh man. Oh my god. Damn, son. Oh my god. I know he's got to figure out what it was, but yeah, it's pieces and parts everywhere. Oh. They left here the little chunk. Oh, that's what I thought. It's a I think it was a barren race, boys. This a, oh, Where, this what race, though? Let's take this out the way and figure it out. And then it hit the... Oh, look at the tube. Oh, my God. That's a, that's a filter screen. <laughs> Damn. Look at it. Oh, look, I got to turn this around. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Look at this thing. That's a lot. Look at all the pieces of plastic. That's awesome. Going. Look at this tube! Yeah, that's crazy. The tube is covered. Oh, and there's the little magnet piece. Yeah. Okay, so it broke this. It broke this thing off. Mm -hmm. This is no longer attached. Mm -hmm. That's what was rattling around. Mm -hmm. All right, crap, dude. Let's see if we get this one first. Jesus. Oh, this coming out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so they're right. pressed. No, 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 they're not. They're, they're, they're just sitting in there. They're sitting there. Okay. Here. I don't know if I can. You might as well get off this gear right here. Yeah. All right. What about? Let me see. Let me see. Maybe I can pry up on it on the gear. Ouch. Got it. Really, you just need a new case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just put all this back in there. It'll be fine. <laughs> Go for it. Ugh. Yeah, too. Ugh, yeah, look dude. what it did. I see that. All right. So where's the piece? So when it broke loose, it just freaking threw it, it through it. It, it spun it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, it did. Where did the damn piece go? There's a chunk right there. Okay. Thing. All right. So let's reenact this. It's missing a little bit, but this was. Yeah, it's missing a little bit because it grinded it all up. <laughs> it's all over the place. So, <clears throat> guessing it got caught in the main pinion gear. That's crazy. Yeah, and... Do you think it just but, had a... But what hit right there? Unless something just kept getting caught in it. Mm -hmm. It's shearing the hell out of it. Was that main was, pinion moving? Oh, jeez. That main pinion was dragging it. I wonder. That's crazy. Did, did the bearing go out? Uh, Was this? No, it don't have a. No, it don't look like. It don't have a slack in mm -mm. it. I think the damn housing just gave out. Something, something had to cause this to move. Yeah. Dude, it chewed into. How can this gear touch this? There's no way they had. There was tolerance to allow that. So either that or this was just slinging around in here like a washing machine. 
Yeah, and just kept and just kept cutting and cutting and cutting into it. That would be it. They had to be like a. Or if they had a small crack in it or something. Like a weak point in the casting. Yeah, it, it, it busted it all the way across. So, here's the, the spun bearing race. Jeez, some beats. Here's the damage where it cut through the case, and that's where all the oil was going. Uh, there seems to be no damage on this side. I mean, there's, there's actually no physical damage whatsoever to any of the gears. I, I don't even see a scratch. But, yeah. And this is the, the shroud. You can see where it, uh, had it, there we go. Yeah, see where it just kept running and running and running right there. <sighs> what a mess, man. Okay, bonus footage. So I was doing a little cleanup to see what parts I was going to probably salvage out of here. And under closer examination, okay, so this is where the damage was, right? And a lot of stuff didn't make any sense to me. So this piece, the bearing race, is about right there. Well, okay, this is a fragment, right? This come loose, and okay, maybe this could have hit right here. But what really um, fooled me was like, okay, so it looks like something hit and hit and hit and hit, and it just kept grinding along, right? Almost like... Uh, like a blade and then you could see how it was hitting the plastic well I said well the, the only thing that was in the center right here is this gear uh, okay maybe this piece got hung up on the edge and it was just grinding grinding across no so here's the real reason the real failure you see that pin sticking out right there that's not supposed to be sticking out It looks to be that there was a keeper right here, and it sheared off. And then that threw this, uh, I guess, pinion or carrying pin, or and it threw it out. And this pin itself is what spun around in here and did all this damage. Busted the hole in the case and destroyed the uh, the motor. Is that crazy? Yep, I completely overlooked that man. And yeah, it just uh, it sheared that keeper pin right off. So that's what happened. At least I was able to confirm that. At first I thought it was some catastrophic bearing failure or something, but no. It was just a keeper pin. And I, you know, it's hard to say at 20,000 miles on a vehicle when it got into a front-end collision, how that front-end collision affected a keeper pin in this motor. And it happened at 100,000 miles. I think they better look a little closer into that keeper pin. Or they may have already fixed it. Maybe they put one on both sides now. Seems like they should. Oh, no, they didn't on this one. Yep, they only pinned it on one side. Mm, mm, mm. Well, mystery solved, boys. But hey, I got a good case over here. And maybe if somebody wants these gear sets just to play with or something. I mean, I wouldn't reuse them. You can hear the bearings. They're... There's a couple of them that are pretty bad. One of them, it, you spin it and it'll spin for a year just by hand. Yeah, that one's pretty rough. <laughs> this is the loose one. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. I found the problem.